you'll see. Like, but it's just cool, you know, having your friends support, your family support. You know, it means a lot um, getting the support from back home. I heard you on Matt Rochelle's podcast uh, yesterday talk about you just living the dream. Can you sort of take a step back from that and realize, like, how far you've come in the last two years? And now you've got all this attention on you. You've got the Hydrophobia campaign. You're a quarterback of the undefeated team last year that won the Peach Bowl. Can you believe uh, how your life has sort of taken a course over the last 18 months? You know, I, I gotta give I gotta give the glory to God on that. You know what I'm saying? Like, I, I know I know I wouldn't be here without without His divine intervention. And uh, you know, like, like I said, like like you said, you know, it's, been, it's come a long way from you know where I was. And, uh, but I gotta give a lot of credit to my coaches, you know, my family. Family, being the best support system possible, uh, my teammates having my back through thick and thin. Uh, give my girlfriend a lot of credit too. She's been there since you know since I was a freshman and going through those growing pains. So you know, I'm, I'm just grateful for the opportunity I'm in. What's the name of your girlfriend? Just so I can know like how to spell it. And then Alenix Alenix Naya Marejo. Fantastic. Yeah. <laughs> write that down real quickly because yeah. I mean, you said it's a big part of who you are. Yeah. Uh, um, go ahead. A L E N N I X Naya N A Y A Marejo M E R E J Oh no. M E yeah M E R E J O. You know, every team talks about. Getting better uh, from last season. So how do you guys improve upon the undefeated? I mean, I mean, obviously you can't improve on undefeated, but I think you can improve as individuals. You can improve in the classroom, um, and all you can do is just take it game by game, um, and day by day. You know, we start camp next week, and that's where it starts. You know, attacking camp. You know, just trying to better our minds in the film room, in the weight room, on the practice field, competing our butts off, and just getting better each day. And then just trying to be one and zero at the end of each week. And if we're one and zero at the end of each week, you know that'll take care of itself. Do you, do you like all the attention that sort of come your way? I mean, yes and no. I, I, I think the attention I get is the attention the school gets and the attention the team gets. So uh, I'm grateful for that. Um, but at the same time, you know, like I said, it's about this team. Uh, it's not about me. Uh, you know, I think um, I think if this team is successful, then stuff will come my way. But if our team's not successful, then you know, it just kind of is what it is. But I'm focused on the team's goals and not necessarily uh, individual accolades. And you were in there when the commissioner was talking, and he talked a lot about how you know, UCF deserves to be in the playoff. And everything. What did you think about what the commissioner said about UCF? You know, I mean. Yeah, it meant a lot, you know. He has some very valid points. You know, this conference is very good from top to bottom. There's teams that can play with any any teams in the country. Like you talk about that 2015 uh, Houston team. Uh, they're a great team, and then the year after they put a whooping on Oklahoma and and Louisville, and those are the, the past two teams that had the Heisman Trophy winners. So. It just speaks volume of this conference and, you know, the way we're able to compete. And, you know, we do deserve more respect. Appreciate it. Thank you. Uh, uh, some of the, how has the transition uh, been between the staff and the head coach and now having to so adjust a lot of both fun, your yeah, game like and away from the, facility, the entire team to the way that we're used to doing all the Honestly, time. it hasn't and been too right too bad of an adjustment. I think it's been pretty smooth, actually. You know, Coach Hype has uh, installed, uh, installed great confidence in us, and we have confidence in him to put us in good situations to win ball games. And, you know, they brought some concepts from Missouri and kept some stuff from Coach Frost. So I think it's gonna be a good, good little blend of uh, of both offenses, and you know, Coach Hype's gonna put us in good, good situations. Is there a little bit more of a trust or a factor when you know, okay, Scott Frost having achieved what he did first as a player and then as a coach, and you've got the same type situation in regards to his track record of what Josh Hype was. Yeah, I mean, it's huge um, just seeing what he's been able to do with. Uh, obviously, in his career, he's a, a great player, but even even in uh, I think his coaching resume is even more impressive with the guys he's been able to develop and you know Josh White, Sam Bradford, Drew Locke, all those guys. I mean this 
it speaks for itself, and you know he's going to continue to do uh, great things. So yeah, the record is signed. That can be improved, but you talked about improvement and we're the single elimination. But the bracket is crazy. This year. What have you seen during spring practice? This is a regular workout, but it gives you playoffs all merged. You know, I see guys competing their butts off, whether it's running sprints. You know, guys are trying to beat each other on on, on reps. Um, no problem. Offense versus defense. You know, we're trying to we're trying to. Trying to beat each other day in and day out. I think uh, that kind of competitive drive, you know, brings the best out of people. 